do you think the players are now viewing this franchise and will this ultimately hurt the franchise going forward where you think players don't want to come and play there anymore? Oh, I, I certainly think that will be the case. I think going forward, if Donald Sterling remains in, in power uh, with the Clippers, they'll have a very hard time signing free agents or getting, getting uh, you know, coaches at Doc Rivers leaves, for instance, getting, uh, getting a new coach. Um, that would certainly affect things. But I don't think certainly that the, the Clippers players should be given freedom to be free agents and, and leave the team if they want. Because, I mean, we do have to remember that um, a, lot, a lot of this information about Sterling was out there. You know, the fact that he was that his racist attitudes, practices, comments, it was out there. And, and most of the Clipper players chose to go play there. Um, you know, either sign, signed as free agents. They, they never made, a, made much of a, of a stink about it before. And so I, I, I wouldn't say that they deserve the right to just walk away now because now they're suddenly outraged. You know, uh, Doc Rivers you know, admitted that he knew most of Donald Sterling's history when he, uh, when he took the job as coach during the offseason, but he said he didn't know as much as he should have, probably should have known more. And so I think, um, I, although I wouldn't blame the players, I also wouldn't give them a, a free ride to, to walk away at this point. There, there is this element of tragedy, too, that this is the first round of the playoffs. As, as we talked about, this is the first year that the Clippers have ascended the Lakers. You've got Doc Rivers. You've, you've got, you know, Blake Griffin and Chris Paul. I mean, this, this is sort of a, a sexy team and an unprecedented sexy time in that franchise history. And here they are, first round playoff series, and they're dealing with this. And on top of that, overshadowing one of the best first rounds, if not the best first, first round right. we've ever seen. I mean, the right. games have been unbelievable. Games are going into overtime. And the biggest story in the league right now yeah. is the Los Angeles Clippers owner. Do you guys right, expect I mean, there to be? Sorry, go ahead, Phil. Yeah, I was just going to add that, uh, you know, being at the game yesterday, uh, the, uh, the Clipper Warriors series had been so great. Um, you know, been very entertaining, uh, you know, up and down basketball, you know, the kind of, kind of basketball most, most fans want to see. It even had a little kind of, you know, nice little spicy flavor of, uh, of you know, antagonism between the two teams. And yesterday, uh, the, the entire Sterling affair seemed to just suck the air out of the entire, the entire building and the entire, uh, the entire game, the matchup. You know, it just wasn't about basketball at all. And that's one of the things that, uh, that Sterling has done is he's, you know, he's really just kind of taken away um, what, you know, as, as we said, it could have been one of the great first rounds in, in playoff history, in NBA history. And just with, uh, with those comments, he seemed like he, he really just took all the air out of that matchup, which is a shame took all the air out of the matchup, but also he's holding his team responsible for something that they didn't do. It's one thing to have, you know, the, the light put on you when you've done wrong, when you've gotten in trouble, but when you have to stand up and take a stand for something that someone else did, that's worse. It makes you feel like, well, how did I get sucked into this situation? Right, right. The Clippers actually yesterday were, they were really zombies out there. They, I, I feel as though they had, they had all these different emotions going on. Uh, they, were, they were angry at Sterling. They were, I think, a little bit rattled by all the attention this has gotten, you know, all the way up until all the way up to the White House. Um, I think they were torn in, in terms of, you know, wanting to play well for themselves and knowing that every success they have uh, is a, is a success, success for their owner. Um, I think they were just lost. And I think, I think Doc Rivers knew that going into the game. I, I don't think he was at all surprised that they were as uh, uh, kind of out of it as they were yesterday. Even if they're asked to give, make a statement about it or speak on it, you know, in an interview or whatever, they can't be as candid as they want to be sure. and speak out and say what they really want to say, how they really feel about the situation, about Donald Sterling. So they have to be either very PC or say nothing at all. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode. It's just 30 minutes long in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. May not be the swimsuit channel, but just as exciting. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. There may be a swimsuit model there. We'll see you.